Hello and welcome again. So I'll just show you if you find you have any corrupted data. So for instance, let's say, oh, this nuke script's data is corrupted, but you have the nk dash file, right? And you're trying to open that. So let's just say I decide, oh, I want to open nuke, right? <coughs> I'm opening Nuke. Oh, restore auto save script. Uh, we'll just click no for the moment for this process. But say you grab the goose.nk file. Error, right? You can't export it. You don't know what's going on. So what we will essentially do, let's say we save this comp as, we'll go home, we'll just go to our desktop, and we're gonna call it blob, just blob, that's it. So this one is called blob, right? So it says error read one goose.nk. Oh no, what do we do? Well, essentially, let's go find that file, right? So we got blob here. Yeah, there's blob. Let's just, let's cut blob out We'll go back and let's paste blob into here. So we'll just stick blob in here. Now, oh no, why is blob only 2KB? I don't get it. Don't worry, we can fix it. So if your data has been corrupted, one thing that you can do is you can open with notepad. So say the all this is gone, like there's nothing, right? But you find your .nk file, right? So we'll go notepad, oh look at that. We have all this code. So you wanna grab it from E, drag all the way down and click Control C. You can close goose.nk because you'll go Control V, close that and you're gonna save it. So now look what happens when I open blob. So you'll notice something different, something better. So as you can see, blob has all this hardware now. So it's got all the software, everything is installed. So let's run it and we're not getting any issues and blob seems to be working which means we have done our job. And that's pretty much how you can fix any corrupted data. So we can just boop, delete that one because we got our goose script here. So a lot of the time when you start it up, it's just gonna try and load something up. There you go, see, loading the vector blur. But you can see that this one is edited a lot more clearer because this is the more up-to-date one so we can just go file save comp and close and that is it 